I think the most important thing people can do is to know about patient safety. So patient safety is about avoiding harm uh, from the processes of healthcare. Uh, and it happens. We know that it happens all around the world. We know that it happens in about 10 to 20 percent of people who have uh, uh, hospital contact. So I think the most important thing is people need to know what harm happens in the places that they work in. So uh, if you work uh, in, a, in a unit that looks after people who are old or frail uh, and elderly, then, then issues like pressure ulcers, falls, uh, they're going to be important issues. If you're looking after inpatients in hospital, maybe it's uh, venous thromboembolism uh, or medication harm that could be the issue there. If you're working in the community, uh, there may be issues around safeguarding, there may be issues around uh, uh, making sure that people get the care they need. It's important that we play our role uh, as clinicians in, in, in that in terms of reporting harm when it happens. Uh, speaking up, uh, identifying where it happens, pointing it out, raising concerns and even you know actively measuring it. Uh, I think that's something that we can all do to help. I think if you're a senior clinician it's very very important that you create an environment where less senior doctors in training, nurses in training, uh, other healthcare professionals in training are able to speak up and, and represent their concerns. Once uh, that has happened I think it's really important then that as much learning as possible comes out uh, of that and I think one of the key things that's going to support that learning is making sure that staff themselves feel safe, that they're not going to be blamed for what are usually system errors, uh, that, that they're going to be listened to and, and that uh, an understanding of what happened so that we can uh, try our best to, uh, to learn from that and change the things that should change. <laughs>